Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for another burst of Sudoku today. And tomorrow, Simon will be playing The Witness again at 10 p.m. our time on live stream. So do join us if you can. I expect I will be doing some comms on that, reading out the uh, super chat and the donations. Thank you very much to everybody who's supported that um, intriguing gameplay so far. Um, there's lots of videos to catch up on if you haven't, and they're available on the channel. But yeah, he'll be live again tomorrow at 10 p.m. So that's interesting. Uh, we've also, of course, got our Patreon monthly reward out. The September reward is a Looney Tunes Sudoku hunt, and we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of correct answers. I think people need to read um, the rules for a sandwich score correctly. Uh, we're getting quite a few incorrect answers as well. I, think the rules are clear enough and 90% of people are getting the right answer. So well done to them. Um, now, oh yeah, we got a really weird communication from an agency who say they've been tracking a, an alien life form and it's apparently now made contact with the CTC Discord server and says it's, it's a fan of the channel and has been watching all the puzzles. I. I don't know. I mean, we got the impression from the last live stream that people were watching from every country in the world. So why not out of this world too? Fabulous, if so. But possibly a bit beyond belief? Anyway, um, I mean, look at the Discord server if you want. Anyway, there's uh, that's all going on now. There's also all our apps and merch available on the links under the videos. Sven Sudoku Pad as well is going very well. And... Uh, that's the roundup. Now, let's have a look at this puzzle. This has got a rule set that we have seen a couple of times. I think once it was in Matthias Martinka's puzzle hunt, but um, we've also, I think Simon did one of these on the channel as well. This is a incremental killer in a way. So I'll, let me explain the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply and digits can't repeat within cages, all fine. Now, none of the cage sums are shown, but the difference between the sums of the digits in any two orthogonally adjacent cages is exactly one. So the sum of this cage is different from the sum of this cage by one. Now this only applies when they've got a touching border. So those two, are f those two definitely have a difference of one, but these two don't necessarily because that's not a border. That's just a diagonal point at which they sort of touch. Uh, there is also one white cell. Digits digits around that are consecutive. But remember, the, the rule about difference of one applies to whole cage sums elsewhere. So that's the rules. Do give it a try. I mean, these are always very interesting. So I'm looking forward to this. Give it a try on the link under the video. And I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And how do we do that? The The... Typical sigh following let's get cracking. Well, these three must average around 15, although that rather depends on what that digit is. Ah, these three fill the whole row. Now, do you know the secret? The big secret of every Sudoku is that it's rows, columns, and three by three boxes all add to 45. Yes, indeed. So, that means that these three cages add up to 45. They've got an average of 15. Uh, yeah, in fact, this, mu this one must be 15. And that is because you can't have repeat numbers because then they wouldn't be divisible by three in total. So uh, this must be the 15 with a 14 and a 16 either side of it. So. One, two, three, four, five make up the 15 cage. That is the minimum sum for five different digits. Um, so one of these is 14 and one of these is 16. And they're using 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, if this was 16, these would both be 15 or 17, which is quite restrictive. You'd have 9, 7 there. You'd have to use 6 and 8, but that does work. If this... Uh, i tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to colour the cages, because I can probably get all around the grid now for odd and even. So 
That one is odd. I will use orange for odd. I will use blue for even. And the ones that touch the blues are here. Ah, yes, 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 it is, yes. The ones that touch those oranges are here and they become blue. The ones that touch those blues are here and they become orange. Then we have three more blues and one more orange. And every cage we know it's parity. Right, look at these two. Yes, this is lovely. This cage, if that was 16, I tried if that was 16, but it's more interesting if this is 16. Then these would have to be 15 or 17, but the most that four digits in a column can add up to is 30. So they'd both have to be 15 using 6, 7, 8, and 9. And what could you put in the middle cell then? Nothing. So that is not the 16 cage. That is the 14 cage. This is the 16 cage. These have to add up to 15 or 17, these oranges. And they only use 6, 8, 7, or 9. Ah, oh, but then I don't know what to do. Although I get a couple of 7, 9 pairs, which I don't think I can use yet. Um, these could both be 9. They don't have to be different. I don't think they can both be 7 because then the, one of those would add up to 13. Anyway, let's go back over here. That is now 14. So these can be 13 or 15. Ah, this one cannot be 13 because look at this. It's a six cell cage. That's 14. The most this cage can be reaching around here, 15, 16. And that's also the least it can be because 15, as we saw, is the smallest number of five different digits. So this must be 16, and that has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. This is now 15. That is a 7 or 9. This is a 6 or 8 even digit. Right, now we've got a 6, 8 pair in the column, as well as taking a 6 out of that. I think that means this can't be... 15 as well, because it would need a 6 or an 8 in it. So this must be 13 without a 6 or an 8. That is 9 4, my friends. That's beautiful. That's a really elegant um, deduction and, and way to get here. So those are from. Why have I. Yeah, those, are from, those include a 5. That's right. Okay, so this cage is 15, and that's 16. Oh, okay, let's have a look at the top. If that... Ah, oh, hang on, yes. The... Right, we know... Yeah, the top row, as we know from the secret, adds up to 45. That is an odd number. Another knowledge bomb from Cracking the Cryptic. Now, those three cells, however also have to add up to an, or those three cages is what I'm trying to say, also have to add up to an odd number because two of them are even and one of them is odd. And you can try any even and odd numbers, that will always be true. So if those are an odd number and those are an odd number, this one is an even number because odd minus odd equals even. Now we've got three candidates here and only one of them is even. And there is our first digit. Um, that is a two. So, there's no 2 there. And now these cells add up to 14. So we've got to make up the row by going 15 without a 6. And 16 with the remaining digits. And that works. So I think we are away. Now we've got 2 here. Oh, sorry, we should have got another digit before. That 4-9 pair has resolved this, hasn't it? 7 there. This cage adds up to 15. That's 8. 6, 8. Yes, that's fine. Okay, now... This white dot can't have a 6, 7, 8 or a 9 on it now. It's not that helpful. Um... can't see how to use it. Right, eight. 
15 here, so 16 here. What's this going to be? It could be a 9, 7 for 16, and it couldn't be a 9, 7 for 16, because look at that cell. That would kill it. So this is 14. That's a 9, 5. That makes this a 7. This has to be 15 now, so that's an 8. That's a 6. Now this one has to be 15, and we get a 9, 7, and a 9. That is absolute class again. Class in a glass. Look at that. Brilliant. Anyway, right. Nine and nine. So they come out of that cell. Nine goes in there. Now, eight, five, nine. We've got a seven in this one. And this is 14 and that's 16. So this adds up to 15. Ah, and two cannot be in it. So it's not 726. It's obviously not 771. It must be 735. So we know the Five, I think, goes here. This is a three, seven pair. That takes three out of all these cells, puts it in there. We get a one and a four, six pair. I think that's right. Now, what's going on with this? Well, it's got a nine in it by Sudoku. And it adds up to either 14 or 16. And I don't think we know which. If it was 16, that'll be a 15. But that's 14 or 16. Well, oh, hang on. If it's 14, it's 914. If it's 16, it's 916. Because 3 and 5 have gone. So there's now a 1 in it too. That can't be a nine. Um, doesn't really get me any further. This can be 15 or 17 as far as I know at the moment. It's got an eight in it, hasn't it? Look at those eight positions. There must be an eight there, which is not surprising. Actually, you couldn't have got to 15 with six, four, and three. Um, Now, does it have to have a six in it? No, it could be eight, four, three. If it's got a six in it, it's eight, six, one or eight, six, three. I don't know that I can use this really. It's, it's quite constrained and it might be linked to what that is. There's a two there, I can see that. Um, ah, it kind of peters out. That is irritating. Right, but we got this 1, 2. So, ah, we know that's a 3, 5 pair now. Now, that's 13. So this adds up to 14 or 12. 8 plus 6 or 4, which forms a pair that I can't use. Actually, that stops this being a 4. Ah, it's not interesting. Ah, scanning. Scanning like a stormtrooper again. Look, there's a nine there looking straight at that cell. Finally, the stormtrooper spots the rebel and misses the shot. Uh, four and nine. Right, that four sorts out this six four pair. That's lovely. Okay, six. Um, come on, keep working. This box doesn't go anywhere. Oh, bother. There's an eight in one of those cells, but that's hardly helpful. Right, this is 15. So these two are 14 or 16. But they could be a pair, I don't know. Oh, hang on, this one can't use nine, eight or seven. So the most it can be is six, five and four is 15. So it can't be the 16 version. It must be six, five, three. Oh, well, that's helpful. So we get two there, a one, four pair in the remaining cells. I can't, well, what about this now? Can this be 14 anymore? Ah, it's got a seven in it by Sudoku. And it's gonna be 16 or 14. But if it was 14, the seven would need to be accompanied by either six, one, two, five, or three, four. 
And those are all impossible because of that. Wow. So it is a 16 cage. Um, and it can't, it's seven plus two digits that make nine, which aren't three, six or five, four or seven, two. So it is seven, one, eight. Goodness me. That's brilliant. Two, four pair down here. Eight in the column now has to be here. Sorry, just trying to sort out the pencil marks. That's a one, three pair. Now there's a six in this cage. 14, 16, and it has to add up to 15 or 17. Oh, so the six goes with a one or a three. That forms a triple. That becomes a four. Ah, oh, that gives us one here, three in the box. That's a one. Now we know that this cage adds up to 17. This is 15, so this one must be 16. So we get rid of the four. Uh, oh, that can't be a three because of the three, seven pair. Yep, six and three. So six comes out of there. That is a six. This now is a two, four pair. And there we go. That is some work done. Right, one and three are out of there. That's a two, four, five triple. That can't be a three. Um, oh, if there's not a three on this, it's either a five, four, or a two, one dot. Which doesn't help. Um, this stupid thing is either... F I mean, I've suspected it to be 15 from the start. But actually, it can still be 17. This is 16 or 14. Oh, they're a bit restricted. If it was 14, oh, I don't know, it could be 9, 5, couldn't it? Um, there's a 6 there. There's a 9 somewhere there. There's a seven and eight down here. I, these are such unhelpful cells because they have no cages, of course. Well, mind you, these are from two, three, four, five. That one can't be a four. So there, no, I was gonna say there is a one in one of those, but that's not true. Oh, look at this bottom row. This is bonkers. Okay, the way to ask this question now, this is lovely actually. Remember that this cage has to be 15 or 17. Now the biggest digit you can get in that is a seven. If it was 17, it could be one, two, three, four, seven. And where do nine, eight, and seven go in this row? So nine can't be in the cage, it's got to be here. Eight also can't be in the cage. This is the only possibility for eight, seven, has to be in the cage. Oh, that's crazy. That's brilliant. I love it. Right, so this cage is now one, two, three, four, seven cage. Seven's in the cage, so they're not uh, in the bottom row, so they're not seven. That's actually not six, and there's a three, five pair there, so three's not there. Um, right, one, two, three, oh, this is a 17 cage. This can't be 18, so it must be 16. We can do that, nine and seven. This is five, six and eight. That one can't be five. This is one, two and eight. Ah, so we can place eight and a one, two pair. That makes this a five on the dot. That's nice. Um, now we've got a two, three pair there. That's a one. This is a three because it's looking at a one, two pair. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Or, uh, that went into the wrong cell. Almost all of these columns seven, eight, and nine are done. That's a six because of the eight next to it. Five, eight, those 
outies are all fixed. This is now a three that does this triple. This triple's done. That can't be a three. We've got a one, two pair. Ah, one there is resolving the pair. That does the four, two pair. Scanning across again, we get the three, five pair. Now there's no two there. That's a one, four, seven maximum break. Uh, three there, two there. Let's get rid of the pencil mark. Wow, this is so neat. Look, I've got four threes looking into the central box. So I know that's three and those aren't. Also, those aren't one. Um, eight, looking up at the top. Keep scanning, stormtroopers. You will find them. Uh, three, five, that's not a five. Oh, look, four, five now, looking at that. So this is a one, six, nine, triple, six, one, nine, like that. Two, three, nine, we've got a four, naked single here, I think. It sees one, six, two, three, nine in the row, seven, five, eight in the column. That fixes the 15 gauge in the middle. That's a one. They're not. Seven and eight to go in here. Yes, we can do those now. Four and two, nine and one, and we finish off with the four, seven pair. Bingo, that is a brilliant puzzle, isn't it? Really clever incremental cages puzzle, love it. Thank you so much to uh, James for sending that and really enjoyed it. Hope you had fun with it and uh, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.